All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely actors. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Actor Brian Scott Stevens. Now it's your spotlight. 4.6 seconds left. The Magic had the final shot of regulation. Who's going to take it? Here we go. What would be, you would think, the final play of the game comes into 48. Three seconds left. Two. He'll find some eyes. He'll lift and fire for the win. It's up. It's in. It's over. Ball game's over. Magic win this one. Tobias Harris right side. Bullseye. 91-89. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's go home, D-Man. It's up, it's in, it is over to buy. That's what I'm Harris. talking it's about. Magic finally win one. Showing they finally got one. Victory. Finally they got one. Good Lord, they finally got one. <coughs> What's up? It's your boy, actor Brian Scott Stevens here. Uh, been an interesting day for me. Um, say no, none the least. But, um... I really wanted to do this video because uh, this was a very um, important video for me. Uh, one one thing that I'm doing on my channel is I'm going through in chronological order everything that I've been in. Um, when it comes to commercials, movies, TV shows, like TV pilots, every everything I've done in, in order. Uh, just so you can just see a lot of stuff I do and also just talk about a lot of things. Because what most people don't realize when it comes to acting is that you may see only one thing that an actor they could have done 30 things between that time time period. And I'm definitely in that case. I've I've done a lot of stuff. And thank you Lord for blessing me to actually do it. Um and ironic enough, how it all began was because of a birthday party. Um, just to kind of set a, a picture, but I'll talk about this more in detail in, in another video. But my boss, back when I was younger, used to be Lou Perlman. Yes, that that Lou Perlman, um, who created NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, O Town, had uh, Britney Spears in in a group, um, Smiles and South Star. Um, I haven't I haven't seen you in a while. Um, trying to think of all the people like there's uh, Brooke Hogan, Aaron Carter. Um, yeah, that's where I really got my start from. After after I graduated college, I was an intern with them, and I was focusing only on music at that at that point. And an opportunity came came my way at basically like the whole office they wanted to, to basically throw his 50th birthday party so they were doing a lot of little skits here and there so they actually came to me and asked me if if i was willing to do a skit for his birthday party whereas it's crazy thinking about now because of all the stuff that happened that's currently going on in 2013 2014 on but basically it was security guards beating me up and like nowadays you probably couldn't do that but but we did that back then uh, just to kind of just kind of make fun of, of everything and and just basically just wish him a, a happy birthday so the first scene that I had to do was basically um, if you've never been to Church Street Station or if you're not familiar with it because a lot of people are not from Orlando or around Orlando it's a big building downtown that has like very nice like bronze surroundings around it. I'll put up a, a, a picture on here, right in here. 
I made some grands and some fans while I made some bands. I took a chance on my advance despite the circumstance. I lost it all and gained it back within a second glance. I saw the good in the pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Um, that was the sec second building that we worked in when I was working for Lou for what, like two two years and um and in that I basically had to just fall but what a lot of people don't know is that I'm really good at just falling which doesn't sound like it should be a talent but it truly is where where you can just fall without any without any restraint and just just letting just letting your whole body just take whatever brunt is going to take yeah i can do that um so so we did that um we played it for lou perlman's 50th birthday party um it had hulk hogan there like the family like all the members of the nsync backstreet boys like it, i mean it, it, it was a lot of people that were just there like like well-known people that were there for it and when it came on to, to 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 my skit and then they saw it and they saw me like just fall and all the other stuff everyone started laughing and this may sound weird but to actually see hulk hogan laughing at me because of how i'm doing something it, it, it kind of makes you want to just, you know, consider doing it a little bit more. And he was like, hey, you're you're pretty good. So that's really how it started. A little happy birthday, Lou Perlman. And then afterwards, it became a, 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 a career. It just comes to show sometimes in life, you don't know what direction you're going to go until you go there. But it's important to keep yourself flexible and keep open-minded on stuff because life changes all the time hey and thanks so much for for your time just listening to me and and i will show i will share a lot more stories about a lot of experiences i had with 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 people like a lot of famous people obviously because i know that that's what you guys really want to hear and i have a lot of interesting stories um from me almost getting in a fight with d12 m&m's d12 uh, on accident i didn't i i wasn't trying to make them mad i i i didn't realize that that they would have got mad over me doing that but in retrospect it's it's, it's just whatever but thanks so much for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Actor Brian Scott Stevens here. Peace.